If you would like more information on this program or if you'd like to express an opinion, email us at info at caucusnj.org and visit us online at oneonone.org. Hi, I'm Steve Adubato, but more importantly, I'm uh, thrilled to be joined in the studio by uh, someone I'm a big fan of, uh, someone who's written some wonderful books. The biggest is called the Think Big Manifesto. Michael Port is the author of several books. He's a New York Times bestseller. Four books you have written, Michael, and I will tell you, I, I was saying this to you right before we got on the air, that a lot of times we have our great producers behind the scene finding people, and I'll say, yeah, let's bring that person on. And I said, I'm in Barnes & Noble. I find your stuff. I read it. I was moved by it. One of the one of the best stuff, book yourself solid for people who are afraid they're not going to have enough clients. Yeah. And you have this very positive attitude. So enough about my description of you. Tell us a little bit about how you got to be writing these books and having the impact that you have. Well, you know, I, I didn't start as an author, as most people don't. I actually started as an actor. And I had a modicum of success, which means a little bit of success. But the lifestyle for me um, wasn't right. And uh, I eventually left. And I went into business. I sort of talked my way into a job that I wasn't really qualified for. And then I got promoted very How quickly. How dare you? I know, <laughs> crazy, but I knew nothing. I knew nothing about the way they did things, which actually was a big advantage for me because I saw other ways to, to build the business. Right. And so I did well. I, uh, I got promoted, you know, uh, ran a division of a public company for a while, and then I went out on my own and started writing books and, and open a consultancy. But, but here's the thing. You go and you make that move, and, and you're acting pretty big, yeah. meaning you have a big view of yourself. Yeah. And the Think Big Manifesto, a couple things that I want you to I want to throw out and you have you react to, is you, think, you say, thinking small is a disease. We yeah. think small. We yeah. don't think big enough. Well, yeah. I'm going to push you on that. Yeah. What about those who say, Michael, I'm fine where I am because I have a job and a mm -hmm. tough economy. Don't push me. I just want to stay where sure. I am, you say. It's okay. You know, we all define big in our own way. But I think if most people felt that they could think bigger and then act on that and it would work, I think they would. Give me an example. Well, uh, you know, yours is a perfect example. Well, don't push me. I just want to stay where I am, keep my head down, keep quiet. But the fact of the matter is if you look at most people who've done big things in the world, they're not the people who keep their head down and keep quiet. They're the people who are working for change, who are pushing big ideas, who are actually maybe even making other people a little bit uncomfortable mm. because they're fully self-expressed. What about those? Oh, let me try it this way. Yeah. What are the biggest obstacles to thinking and, more importantly, acting big? Yeah. I mean, or responding and acting on those big ideas to execute them. The biggest obstacles are? Well, we think that the future is predicated on the past. Well, we think that whatever came before is what's coming in the future. Now, the future is uncertain, of course. Um, however, we can be ahistorical. I mean, we can we can take um, what was in the past, ignore it, and try to reinvent ourselves and continue to create. Creating ourselves, branding ourselves, rebranding ourselves mm. uh, as we move into new areas of self-expression. Stay on that branding thing. I was telling you before we got on the air yeah. that I'm finishing a book on, on branding called You Are the Brand, right? And again, you wrote a wonderful chapter on branding yourself. Yeah. And I'll steal some of that with attribution, if you will. But play that concept out a little sure. bit more. Someone says, all right, Michael Port, you have to brand yourself. Mm -hmm. You're in the marketplace. You're a motivational speaker sure. and you're a writer and um, doing what you're doing. And sure. the truth is, when you're in this industry, you better brand yourself, right? right? Well, I, I, what about people who say, I don't have to brand myself. I'm a middle manager in a corporation. Oh. What do you mean branding myself? Yeah, that is, that is probably the most important place to brand yourself because otherwise you just sort of you know, blend in with the masses. What's wrong with that? Well, it's fine. Everybody can do whatever they want to do, but... Um, if you want to move forward, blending in with the masses is not the way to do it. Someone says, I want to keep my head below the, you know, sea level, meaning I want to stay outside of the, mm -hmm. the radar. I mean, we got some terrific guys. I mean, I mean talk to the guys and, and the women, terrific people sure. behind the scenes, wonderful people in the mm -hmm. television field, which the media field is yeah. constantly changing. And someone says, you know what? Adubato's the guy out there. Michael mm -hmm. Port, they're the ones that I just do. Well. How do they bring themselves? And isn't that self-aggrandizing sure. to say, look at me, I'm yeah. a great man, I'm a great director. Sure. Can fulfillment are the, the two basic uh, f uh, fundamental um, uh, building blocks for doing anything big in the world. Mm -hmm. Someone who makes commitment and then fulfills them, makes more commitments and then fulfills them, makes more commitments and then fulfills them. That's, that's an element of branding. You doing a good job is branding? Absolutely. But doing it in a way that is consistent and is always trying to continually improve. Because everybody can get really clear on what we stand for. And I think that those who do big things in the world have something specific that they stand for. For me, it's thinking big. And everything I do has to be built 
upon that foundation. Writing books or speaking or being there can't think some choice. So you want to, you know, build your foundation on really about my 